Hey, so today I'm just gonna talk about these two boxes. Why? Because these boxes are the boxes that I take everywhere that I play and they're in a lot of the videos. They're usually on top of each other and they, they are the main part to the modular synth that I use for everything. They change a little bit, but the principles pretty much stay the same. There's always three synthesizer voices and there's always a sampler and there's always drums. The actual boxes are made from plywood offcuts that cost no money. The actual dimensions are 84 centimeters long and 44 centimeters high, which means that the insides are actually 80 by 40. And these modules are actually 20 centimeters high and they're usually 10 centimeters or 20 centimeters or 40 centimeters wide. That's the way I've made it work. I initially decided this format because I found a load of scrap metal that was actually 20 centimeters high. So, you know, naturally that's what happens. So let's start over on this one, which is box number one. This is the uh, synth voice box. This has got three synth voices in it. So what actually is there? Okay, so we've got these three analog oscillators and they all have separate outs like triangle, I've actually done a video on this called Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. It's right here and it's about oscillators and this is the actual oscillator that is in the video. You know, with all the different wave shapes. Triangle, square waves. It's actually got a, um, a modulator for the pulse width. And then you can then basically at the end of it all you can mix all of the uh, oscillators together so we've got a square wave, triangle wave, so good. and then right next to it I've got a filter that's actually a MS20 style filter. It's pretty quiet. It's got, it's got clipping diodes, so when you actually twist it, you can see that the diodes are clipping the audio of the resonance. And doing that, there's a link for the schematic of this filter in the description, and you should check it out because it's a really easy and nice filter. So yeah, that's that. So this is actually a PCB from a Eurorack synth. It's called a Roll Your Own Opto Distortion. It's just a distortion module that adds a bit, it adds a bit more grunt to the actual filter. So it just goes straight out of the filter into the distortion. Oh. Kind of saturates it more and just makes it sound a bit more, in a way, guitar-y. What I actually do with this distortion is I use this as the side chain against the kick. So when the kick is kicking, the distortion goes up and down with the kick. If you see what I mean. Got some envelope generators down here. This module, which is a dual attack release envelope generator, is actually based off a music from outer space module. It was, it's strip board back there, which we, because it was a, I built these at a time when uh, they weren't selling PCBs. So yeah, but it's not. It's pretty much no modifications. There's the odd modifications. Got extra outs, a few different switches and stuff. Here's a MIDI to CV, and then there's a frequency central Trans Europa, which is actually pretty damn good. I love this thing because adds octave selection to a knob. Oh, it's an important. This is a this is a DIY braids bit of a bit of surface mount soldering right here. This is really good because you know it's a reliable oscillator, and I've also added a switch to make it so it's always in tune. Now we go over to this, which is another filter, which filters out all the sounds. It's not the same as that. 
Then we've got another braids over here, which is uh, doing the same thing. It's just another melody. Then we've got another filter. Whew. All the filters. Plug that in. Oh, gee. So I would get the oscillator and I'd send the oscillator into the into the filter and I'd send the filter into the distortion and then I'd have the distortion going up into here which is a voltage controlled amplifier which is basically a voltage controlled volume knob if you will there's a switch to make them go into a mix mode or you could just have them with separate outs just turn off the switches and then you can actually bypass the volume knob or you can make it just work anyway but that's there so we got The distortion makes it sound really like nice. So there's three separate voices. There's the braids that goes into a filter, then the braids goes into this filter, and they all, all go into here, and then this oscillator goes into that, goes into that. So that's basically that. <sighs> to this box which I call like the drum slash mixer box because that's all it is is there's a drums and there's a mixer so when I want to do live jams I usually use the Beatstep Pro however when I've got a preset song to kind of stop it worrying about it I use this module here which is actually a MIDI file player and it only costs 10 pounds and it's an Arduino MIDI file player right here we've got the actual bass line going into this mixer, which is here. And this is a big matrix mixer. So there's three mixer lines with actually eight separate inputs. But you can actually turn it into 16 inputs because there's another line of switches here that when you plug a jack into it, it isolates this mixer line and you can use this as a separate mixer and that as a separate mixer. It's up to you. So I used to have a lot of uh, drums that were made on proto board but they kept on breaking especially in gigs so I went and bought hex inverter mutant drums PCBs and just basically built those into this kind of module setup mutant hi-hats mutant claps mutant snares and mutant kicks but I mean I haven't even modified them at all they're basically just the standard mutant drums over here is the actual kick that I use. I use the actual mutant kick for a higher kick, but this is the low frumpy one and this is still a bit of a proto board in the back. So, how do I trigger these? Well, over here, down here, there's this MIDI to trigger. And it's got a MIDI in and a MIDI through, which then goes over to the other box, which is the actual MIDI to CV. But this has got one, two, three. This has got nine MIDI outs, so you could trigger nine different drums with it. This is an Arduino project, and I'll probably share it very soon. Plug this in to the different drums. And then I can also use different drums out of the um, Beatstep Pro, because the Beatstep Pro can control 16 drum pads. So this is using the ones that don't actually have jacks out. I've added um, an extra one to the kick to actually plug over to the side chain. So that is the drums and that box. So there's another two envelope generators that don't seem to be working right now. Oh dear. <laughs> and this one's pretty interesting. So this is the WAV trigger. And that is actually, you put an SD card in the back and it has 16 samples that you can play 
you know, you can trigger and play. And I usually have things like, you know, different vocal loops or stuff like that hidden in here. So, you know, if you need certain things like a, you know, like a vocal a cappella or something, you could put it, put it into here and get it triggered by this. Or you could get it triggered around the back by MIDI and you can, you can control like thousands of samples if you really wanted to. We've got a clock multiplier and divider here, which is actually a Ginkgo Synthes Arduino sketch that I've just put in. Right here there's a dual delay made with PT2399 chips. I designed it from the uh, data sheet and Oh, well, that was uh, I was actually triggering the I was actually triggering a drum sound with the feedback of the actual delay then. That was weird. Okay, so um But yeah, that's just uh, you know, standard. Let's get it fed back. All right. And when you pull it all the way down, it stops and it bypasses completely. So yeah. And you can actually have CD in as well to affect it all. And then you turn it off by just turning it to zero. Which I think is pretty important. Another distortion. And then there's that mixer. And then over here is a dual 2HP freeze, which is in another video right here which I plug up to the output of the whole thing. Build it up. So yeah, so that's a rundown of my tour synth thing.